Bonjour les frères et sœurs, bienvenue sur Soubonne. Je suis très heureux de vous revoir aujourd'hui. Bon dimanche à tous. Aïe, aïe, aïe. Aïe, aïe, aïe. Vous allez comprendre pourquoi j'ai dit ça. Depuis hier, j'ai reçu ce témoignage, ces révélations sur Tibi Yoshua, mais je suis choqué. Je suis tellement choqué que je ne sais pas comment faire cette vidéo pour vous en parler tellement. Ces relations sont hors du commun. La femme que vous voyez le camp là-bas, elle est en train de se plaindre. Elle ne fait que se plaindre parce que elle dit qu'elle est passée à la casserole de type Yeshua. Et depuis qu'elle a 7 ans, ces problèmes ont commencé. Hein? Elle ne va pas manquer de nous dire que nous pouvons aller voir et découvrir par nous-mêmes que tout ce qu'elle va nous dire ici est vrai. Elle dit que là-bas, quand Tibi Yoshua était en vie, ce qui s'est passé, c'est que aux environs de minuit, il y avait des filles qu'on appelait afin qu'elles puissent entrer dans la chambre de Tibi Yoshua et coucher avec lui. Et elle, elle en faisait partie. Aujourd'hui, elle est sortie de là-bas et elle est sortie pour dénoncer ces choses. Elle a même écrit un livre où on voit toutes ces choses, où elle raconte toutes ces choses. Ici, elle a été interviewée et elle va nous dire en détail tout ce qu'elle a vu là-bas, tout ce qu'elle a découvert. Et qu'est-ce que nous devons retenir de cela? Nous allons découvrir cette affaire à la fin. Je vais vous le dire à la fin. En tout cas, si ce qu'elle dit est vrai, Ok, nous allons l'écouter. Elle parle en anglais. Je ferai un effort de faire la traduction. Vous aussi, vous pouvez nous aider à, à traduire cela en commentaire. C'est prêt? C'est chaud. C'est parti. Everybody should go and shower. Elle dit tout le monde peut aller voir. So, everybody went. Then, after some time, I was in the room. Et je que quelquefois elle était dans la dans sa chambre. We we stay in dormitory. So I was in the room is normal. They would just be calling people one by one. Et on appelait les gens le le après l'autre. Even in the midnight. They... Même même à minuit. Come and call people. Uh, Baba want to see you. On leur, on leur dit Papa veut te voir. Papa veut te voir. Genre ce petit bébé choix qu'ils appelaient Papa. Papa want to see you. Papa veut te voir. So I was called, then I went, and it's like the moment I enter his room, he just, you know, hug you, well done, you know, I, I know you can do it. And the moment I entered the room, I said, oh, wow, bravo, you know that you could do it, like, to be sure, with someone there. And that well done became, they put uh, his mouth in my hand and asked me to suck it. And he came, when he came, he came, he came, elle dit que le monsieur a positionné euh, son sexe entre ses mains et lui a demandé de, de, de le sucer. Again. And I did it. Elle dit je l'ai fait. <rire> Elle dit qu'elle a sucé le gars. <rire> Elle a bien sûr tout nous dire. Et qu'est-ce qui s'est passé après? Écoutons. And, uh, well, I don't know. So, elle a même dépassé, elle a dit, je ne sais pas. So, I, I, that continue. That continue. Then, I realized that before T.B. Joshua go into service, he must call one girl, two girl, and have sex with them. Elle dit que et ça continue et elle a même remarqué que avant que Tibi Yeshua n'aille prêcher ou faire ce qu'il appelle œuvre de Dieu, il appelle des filles avec qui il couche. Even without taking his shower, he just from there he will just go into the into the service. I don't know why he's doing that. And immediately he come back, you know, girls will he will call them. Even some are willing. Say, you know, Baba is calling me, they are happy. 
But within myself, I, I was, you know, these are the things that made me to believe that all this is joke. And not only that, I saw that, you know, I was always behind camera. We arrange miracles. Elle dit que nous arrangeons les miracles. People, yeah. If sick people come into synagogue, they don't do anything until the camera crew gets there. Yeah, because we have to take the before and the after. We work hand in hand with the people that organize this uh, emergency department. They are the ones that will psych people. If he's coming, just be crying. Help me, help me be crying. You, you know, they want to relieve what's happened in the Bible. And he himself will pretend as if he didn't see them. Why all along he knew that they are there? Wow, I think the people do the, 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 the comedy. Et lui, il est au contrôle de tout et il sait exactement ce qui se passe. Et les caméras suivent cela du début jusqu'à la fin. Et tout est montré pour que ça l'air naturel et vrai un peu comme ce qui se passait dans la Bible. Because the people in the department must have told him that this is the place we have arranged this person. This is what the person has said during interview. So that when it's a... Uh, uh, prophecy time. He can give them the same thing, information we have already sold to him. So, most of the disciples are informants. But I want to go back quickly to that, uh, you know... Uh... Non, mais nous dit que la plupart des gens qui venaient pour faire uh, les prestations, ces gens-là savaient ce qu'ils allaient dire, ce qu'ils allaient faire, tout était déjà prévu. And count that intimate uh, part. Okay. Uh, you know, was it only sucking that he does, or does he also do proper intercourse? Yeah. So, you know, as time goes on, uh, I see that uh, he tried to unite few girls together. And he, he told us that you are sisters, you know. And these girls, I will mention their name, Elizabeth, Rose, this Rose and Elizabeth, they are they are siblings. He doesn't care. Even mother and child, he, 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 he do them. So... <laughs> he said that the guy is trying to really a bit a group of girls and he's saying, listen, you, you are the sisters. And then he looks at a girl, he sees his mother and he Il couche avec les deux, ils sont fous. <laughs> Ce qu'elle a dit est grave, hein? Il nous a dit. Oh, and Kemi, Kemi Adelo Kiki, and Bossa Adelo Kiki. Bossa is on the choir. You see them singing, they are just pretending. So, and I, I, I empathize with them. Where are those people now? They are there. They are still in the chains. Yeah. Okay. Et le monsieur lui pose la question, ça, mais, mais où sont ces gens-là maintenant? Hey, mais, Ah, ils sont là-bas. Yes, they are still there. Ils sont toujours là-bas. So, you know, uh, and also another one, another person, Bolaji, Bolaji, and uh, Sheun Abiola. He gathered us in the room. He will be naked. He will be having sex with one. Other people, they will be drawing his leg, his, you know. Ooh, Eddie. Que les filles de ont de citer le nom ici. Ces filles-là arrivent dans sa chambre, elles se déshabillent, elles se mettent nues et ils couchent avec une. Tandis que l'autre est en train de le masser. <rire> Mal son pied. <rire> Un peu comme les fines X. Tiens, elle était ouais. Tiens. Mais la femme, elle n'a pas l'air de rigoler et elle ne marche pas ses mots. Robin is massaging him. So, these are the things we do there. These are the things I participated. Elle dit que ça, là, ce sont des choses auxquelles elle y a participé. At what point did you decide to break away? Okay. Um, it happened 
Elle dit, c'est passé quand elle, elle avait 7 ans dans l'église de Jeshua, dans cette synagogue. I start seeing that, uh, I start dreaming. Elle dit qu'elle a commencé à rêver. I started to dream. My dreams were horrific. Et ses rêves étaient vraiment très horribles. It, you know, I, I have gift of dream. Elle dit que j'ai des dons pour les songes, pour les rêves. Yeah, so I, I start seeing that uh, in the night, there was one day I saw I saw TB Joshua wearing black. He, he does wear black sometimes. So wearing black. And some people, four people, they too, they wore black. And they, 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 they are like pearl bearer. They, they carry one uh, uh, dead body. Hmm? Et que dans ses, dans, dans ses rêves, souvent, des choses graves. Par exemple, elle avait été bien choisie en noir, tout en noir, avec toute personne encore en noir. Et ces gens-là avaient, avaient le corps d'une personne qui est morte. And that body they carried was also robed in black. Et ce corps aussi qui était en noir là, et ce corps là aussi était habillé en noir. So I saw some disciples, you know, some girls' disciples that I, I could remember, like Anne, like Rose, like Anne. You know, et elle a reconnu que c'était une fille même de son église qui est même là-bas d'avoir des, des styles non armes et autres. So they wear black with red uh, handkerchief. So, c'est comme une secte, hein? c'est comme une secte. So, then I saw them going. Then at a point, they now ask Anu to stay somewhere. So they went in. Even there was a time, that's one dream. Another dream I saw was that he was leading us into a groove, into the bush, thick forest. Et ces gens allaient vraiment dans, dans, euh, dans une forêt, une grande forêt. So we were on a straight line. So when he got to a point, I saw one man. He just came in between me and Taye. Taye was in front of me and he just pushed me. You know, he was struggling with me. So me too, I was struggling because I didn't want him to take my my position so he just pushed me and i fell on the floor while i was sitting i was looking at them they went into the bush and at a time i saw that they enter into a kind of uh, uh, a kind of hall and within split second dead bodies were carried out of the room as we speak those people that i saw in those dreams they are not living today yes if de ce rêve. Aujourd'hui, ces gens-là ne vivent plus. Even Taye was among those people that died in the collapse. Oui, c'était son mort. In the building collapse. Yeah, in the building collapse. So, I just thank God that somebody, you know, someone pushed that you out I know of. pushed me out of. Maybe I would have just been part of it. So, then, I saw a lot of, even there was a time I had a dream. And in the synagogue, T.B. Joshua has already indoctrinated the disciples anytime you have dream because you believe that most of them are gifted so anytime anybody has dream it is an offense if you don't report your dream et elle dit que tu peux le choix manipuler un peu les gens et les contrôler et là bas il disait que toutes ces personnes là ont des dons vous voyez ont des dons et tout le monde doit lui raconter ses rêves. Si vous avez un, eu un rêve, vous devez absolument aller lui dire. Si vous ne lui dites pas, c'est comme si vous venez de pécher. So when I started having all these dreams, I stop, I, I, I stop reporting because something happened to Bosse Agbaire. Bosse Agbaire saw T.B. Joshua under the marine, under the water, kneeling down to some creatures with half fish, half body, asking them for power and help. Maintenant, parmi ces filles-là, il y a une qui a eu un songe un jour, où dans le songe, elle a vu Tibi Yeshua dans de l'eau, avec une femme poisson, genre la sirène, en train de lui demander des pouvoirs. So, 
that was the last time Bosse dreamt. Et c'était la dernière fois où la fille a eu un rêve. So, you know, because I know that, I didn't report my dream again. Et dès qu'elle elle a entendu cela, elle a découvert cela, elle a décidé de ne plus raconter ses, ses rêves. So, I saw one day that I was, I saw a lady, you know, maybe by the gutter, very dirty. So, I just took pity on the lady and I took uh, clothes, I mean, yeah, sponge and water, washing the lady. So, after washing one side, I asked her to turn the other side. The moment it turned like this, it was my face I saw on her face. That shock woke me that something is happening where I am. I saw mighty snake crawling from outside into T.B. Joshua's bedroom. Uh -huh. Elle dit qu'elle a vu un énorme serpent qui est entré dans la chambre de T.B. Joshua. So, a lot of things I saw. Et allé sur son lit là -bas. And I've been so afraid. Et elle a vu beaucoup de choses que j'ai vu. Toutes ces choses que j'ai vu vraiment me faisaient peur. So, when the visitors started coming into the synagogue, I was called upon to be coordinating them. So, if visitors come, uh, when they started coming, TV Joshua will pack a lot of videos and give them that they should go to different countries to go and distribute the videos. He will give them money. He will pay their flight ticket. He will ask them, bring more people, white people, your type. He doesn't like black people visiting him. So white, 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 bring them. When they come, they eat free of charge. At that time, they eat free of charge. So they will come back. So when I started coordinating visitors, anytime they come, Some, people, some of them ask, can they bring sick people? Say, oh, of course, you know, healing. But after they started bringing some sick people that he couldn't heal, you know, he couldn't use to deceive people to heal. If he said you have, you know, you have a spiritual problem, of course, he will wave his hand. Nobody knows if you are healed or not. You understand? So, you know, the people in testimony department, they will ask the person, don't worry, just go and give testimony. You know, immediately after giving testimony, you see that, you know, things were, so those who will not say, hey, I was having so, so, but now they are praying for me now. I mean. So, but you that you are watching, you don't know if they are healed or not. A lot of people died of HIV because they, you just do like this. Don't take drugs again. Aïe, 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 est-ce que vous avez entendu ça? Est-ce que vous avez entendu ça? Elle dit que souvent, Tibi Joshua donnait des vidéos aux gens afin que ces vidéos-là ces vidéos puissent atterrir chez les Blancs. Parce que lui, il aime beaucoup quand les Blancs viennent là-bas. Maintenant, un jour, il y a un groupe de malades qui sont venus. Et lui, quand il voyait les situations, il savait qu'il ne pouvait pas les guérir. Du coup, il a fait des choses les inutiles, les amantis, les études et tout, c'était mes personnes même ont arrêté de prendre leurs médicaments parce qu'ils avaient foi en cet homme. Et beaucoup de gens dont ces personnes-là sont mortes. Wow. So they will just be dying. And uh, anytime they bring maybe cripple, that is when the trouble comes. So one Et c'est dans ces genre de situations-là que elle se pouvait aller lui au commencé. Day, Pastor Neil Labascockney from South Africa brought some sick people, and uh, two cripples was among. And uh, when they came, he was not happy with me because I'm their coordinator. We we exchange correspondence before they come. They tell me the people they are co that they are coming with. So, and when they came at the airport, the the protocol officers has already called him that. We, The, the two cripple among them. He come into the office. As I was just entering the office, it was dirty slap he gave me. So why don't you tell? Why do you ask them to come with cripple? I said I don't know. I've already, you know, told them that it's people that are coming for spiritual empowerment, no cripple or you, you understand. So, so that time, that day, I was unhappy. Elle dit que un jour un pasteur de un pasteur sud de sud africain sud africain envoyait quelqu'un d'un groupe de personnes qui étaient vraiment malades et lui n'était pas prêt et il a cru que c'était la fille qu'elle avait envoyée 
Du coup, il a giflé en lui disant, mais pourquoi est-ce que tu, tu envoies toutes ces personnes Ah, elle dit, mais je n'ai rien à voir avec tout ça et tout ça. Mais ce jour-là, vraiment, c'est le jour où elle était vraiment fâchée. And I said, I want to go home. Et elle a dit, je veux aller à la maison. He was not happy. He said, you said that to me. Il n'était pas content. Et il a dit, donc tu me dis ça, tu me dis cela à moi. I said, I want to go home. I just stand, I want to go home. So, elle a dit non, je veux rentrer à la maison, je veux partir à la maison, elle était fâchée. So he used his finger to mark the floor. Et il a, il, a, il a utilisé son doigt pour marquer une trace sur le, sur le sol. If I have two heads, I should pass and go. Because I was not happy. You know, I just, you know, went. Et elle, elle, a, elle, elle était fâchée, donc elle n'a pas considéré cela. Et elle est partie. At that time, three days, I was just roaming around Lagos. I don't know where I was going. Et pendant trois jours, elle était juste se balader dans le coin. Elle était perdue, elle ne savait pas même où elle allait. Until I returned back there. C'est là, elle est retournée là-bas. So when I returned back there, and I say, you, you are threatening me, you want to go. Okay, go and give confession. Until you give confession, you will not come back. Et elle est arrivée là-bas, elle a vu Tibi Yoshua et Tibi Yoshua lui a dit Ah ok, tu es revenu. Tu ne m'as pas dit que tu, tu, tu veux partir. Si tu veux rester ici, il faut aller te confesser. Because I, I, I was not even myself. So, I, well, what is confession? Ok, I was stubborn, I was this, I was that. Ok, ok, go back to work. Et elle est allée là-bas. Elle allait mentir, oh, j'étais comme ça, j'ai fait comme ça, j'ai fait comme ceci. Et il a dit, ok, c'est bon, va travailler. So, because, you know, I was leaders of different departments. And Parce qu'elle était leader de plusieurs départements. And I went back to work. Alors, elle, elle a continué de travailler. And, you know, all those things, you know, continued, continued. Then when different, you know... We go to Singapore, we go to Indonesia. I went with them, you know. I have passport to show that, and uh, you know, to some countries, it's all managing. You know, we go to Okobaba in uh, Onyugo to give food to the beggars. We carry camera along, whereas in the, in the book of Matthew six one, he say if you want to do good, you do it secretly, so that you not shame the the poor people. But we have to face them with camera. Why do we face them with camera? Because we use this video to deceive the foreigners that, you know, we are into philanthropies and those people start keying key into it. Il a dit que les gens là-bas, ils utilisent les vidéos pour tromper les, les gens qui ont de l'argent pour bien qu'ils puissent venir. They start, you know, putting money, donating heavily. I remember when we went to Singapore. Personally, I collected a million dollars through donations. I'm not talking about other disciples that were in the same, you know, uh, circle of that department. Because when we travel, so what year did you leave? I left 2008. I never, and since then, I never looked back. If, so when you left in 2008, you you knew your way around Lagos that time. Unlike the, the, the previous time. Okay. <laughs> Uh, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, so when I, I just, you know, I, you know, in the synagogue, people are not allowed to get married. Et quand elle a quitté là-bas depuis 2018, plutôt 2008, et elle a dit quelque chose de vraiment très, très, très important. Elle dit que vraiment, les gens qui sont là-bas ne se marient pas. You see those girls, they are in the, you know, they've been there 20 years, you know, over 20 years, they are not allowed to get married. Et vous voyez les filles là-bas, elles sont là-bas depuis 20 ans, et elles ne sont, on ne leur permet pas de se marier. That's the question people should start asking. Et ça, ce sont les questions que les gens ont commencé à se poser. If these people are your sisters, about why, men, and about they men. too must not get married. If you married and you come into the synagogue, the marriage will be separated. Et si vous vous êtes marié et que vous venez dans cette église, dans cette synagogue, votre mariage sera menacé. Vous allez vraiment vous séparer. I have this in this book. 
you know, you know, I wrote this book. Et elle où elle raconte tout ça. And uh, go online, Google. Tibi Joshua uh, took my wife and sent me to Ezal. Et allez si tu sur Google, tapez Tibi Joshua a pris ma femme. You know, okay, because Et vous allez trouver. People will say, why Bisola only talking? It's not only Bisola only talking. Et les gens disent que pourquoi moi, c'est-à-dire elle, qui est là-bas, pourquoi les gens disent, les gens disent que pourquoi elle, elle, elle se met pas. Other people are talking. Et elle dit que non, c'est pas moi, c'est moi, je parle. Il y a d'autres personnes qui en parlent. You understand? Est-ce que vous comprenez? But my tenacity is just, you know, my energy is higher than them. C'est pas le truc, c'est parce que mon énergie est plus forte, est plus forte. Que, 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 que. Because I, I have passion for people. I know what I went into. Parce que j'avais des passions pour les gens. Je sais ce que j'ai vu là-bas. And I don't pray for my, even my, anybody that I think. So back to how you left enemies. now. Okay. So by the time I was ready, you know, I think he saw the sign that I, this girl is no more around here. There was a time he sent me to go and be the MD of uh, his uh, newspaper outfit. They call it exclusive in, uh, in Ikeja. That was the first outside job I would ever do when I entered the synagogue. Because he said the person who was the MD mismanaged the money. So he called the meeting of professional journalists and said, I, I have somebody that will, that, will, that will be in charge of that place. And you people, you respect her. So they normally take me with car to, to that place. So I ask them, what is the problem here? They say it's because of money, no fund. This guy is not funding them. I said, okay, fine. Then I collected all his friends that are rich. So I took the paper there with some gift. I said, T.B. Joshua said, you should key into it, this. So they started giving, um, no, they started giving adverts. And that money we use printing every week. And that money we use, you know, uh, paying salaries. And, you know, no, no problem. But one day he called me. Say, come, 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 come. Where are you? I said, I'm in Abuja. He said, ah, ah. Who did you tell you are going to Abuja? He felt uh, scared and threatened that, you know, of developing wings. One day he called me. I said, I'm with... Uh, Iyabo Obasanjo in Abelkuta. You know? So after some time, he asked me to, to step down. He asked somebody else. After three, mini, three months or four months, they closed down that place because the, the person did not know how I was, you know, going around. But when I was there, I met somebody called Baba Prince Awofisayo. His friend to T.B. Joshua. Il a dit que quand elle faisait des trucs, elle se, elle se baladait un peu, elle se cherchait. Elle a rencontré un ami à T.B. Joshua. He's one of those people that were giving us adverts. And, you know, I always tell Baba Wofisayo, please, introduce me to some people. He, he, he was the one that introduced me to Yabo uh, Obasanjo. Um, so he knew that I was, you know, I, I was thirsty to work. I was hungry to work. So... When I was ready, because I had no friends outside, no parents outside. So uh, what I did was that I contacted Baba Wolf Sayo. I said, sir, I've been here for the past 14 years, and it's like I want to move forward. Because et elle, elle dit qu'elle est ici depuis vraiment plusieurs années, et elle vraiment, elle veut, elle veut un peu sortir, connaître des gens, avoir des contacts, des choses, des gens. Because the man did not know what was going on there. He said, ah, well. Parce que l'homme-là ne sait pas ce qui s'est passé réellement dans cette, dans cette synagogue. Oui, oui, oui. I know you can do better on your own. You know, don't worry. Immediately you leave. I promise you 5 million bank guarantee. Et le monsieur lui a promis 5 millions si elle quitte là-bas. I said, I don't have a house. He gave me 500,000. And, and the day I went to collect that money, somebody saw me in the, in the Baba's office. Et le jour où elle a pris cet argent-là, quelqu'un de l'église de Tibichua a vu, l'a vu et elle a dit ça à Tibichua. And reported to Tibi Joshua. And that was how their problem started. Et c'est comment leur problème a commencé. Well, somehow... The Baba managed, you know, 
and asked me to stay away. So I had that. For my accommodation, you know, I was preparing to leave. Then one day, TB Joshua and his crew member, disciples, they went to South Africa for farmers conference. So when they got there, camera got ad problem. And it's like they couldn't use camera to cover the event. And, you know, he's a camera guy. When they came back, they called me in. I was in trouble because I didn't follow them. He said, if Bisola were there, things would have worked well. So all the people, including the white girls and the white guy, and including me, he said, because any time you offend T.B. Joshua, you, you will say you have offended God. Et là-bas, quand les gens font quelque chose contre T.B. Joshua, on leur dit que, oh, c'est bien, vous avez offensé Dieu. So people will just be, you know, you know, moody and so... Non, les gens sont tristes. But, you know, people will go on hunger strike, they have offended God. He has told us that God do not know we are living. He's the one that wants to reconcile us with God. So he was the God, he was everything, everything centered around him. Donc, je vais vous dire que tu veux choisir, c'était comme Dieu. Et si vous l'offensez, c'est comme si vous avez offensé Dieu, dont les gens étaient... Uh, for much, I so panic and pray. So when can you commit the bitches? So he said we should go and pray that we have offended. So we now got together. We went to Agodo. You don't know Agodo. They call it Prayer Mountain. He has it around Egbe, away from synagogue. You know, so that place is swampy area. But you drag it. It's full of water. Then he puts a uh, beach sand around it. So we're there. While we were praying, in a split second, I saw my mom. Seriously. She had grown so aged and frail. And for the first time in many years. Et elle a vu sa maman vision un moment donné, après plusieurs années. I was concerned for her. So immediately we got back to the synagogue. You know, they, they, took, they used bus to drop us and they came to pick us again. Immediately, we got back to synagogue. I went to his office. I said, I saw my mom in a vision. He trivialized it that you, you see vision. Go, go back to your work, you know, they are waiting. And the lady said, Dibi Yoshua, Dibi Yoshua, there was a vision. I saw my mom. He said, oh, you don't have to have a vision. Go to work there. For you in the studio, the visitors are somewhere there, you know. The visitors are in the studio, go to work there. I would not go back to work. I was standing in front of his office. He finished till midnight. He went to his, to his room upstairs. So when I couldn't go to sleep because I was thinking that I need to go and see my mom. And Sunday is the best bet. I've left home for many years. My mom must have moved from where I know her house to be. But I know her church. And you could... Elle, elle a vu sa maman comme ça et elle a mis sa maman comme ça en vision et elle s'est dit à, un moment, à ce moment-là qu'elle doit vraiment aller voir sa maman. Elle connaît où elle est située son église. You understand? Before I was born, my mom has been member of that church. Elle dit qu'avant qu'elle ne meure, sa, sa maman était... Avant qu'elle naisse, avant qu'elle naisse, sa maman était membre de cette église. And she has been there. I think, elle était là-bas. I think if I go to that church, they will, they will find her. So I went to T.B. Joshua's room, bedroom upstairs, five story. I was standing outside. So he was seeing some people. So immediately they finished with him that they, they were filing out. As they opened the door, he saw me and said, ah, Bessala, what happened? So then I entered into his room. I said, I need to go and see my mom. I don't know what's going on. He, El depuis qu'elle a eu cette vision, elle était troublée. Tibi Joshua l'a vu. Elle dit, mais, il dit, mais, ah, quel est le problème avec toi? Il dit, vraiment, elle est inquiète, elle va le voir sa maman. Then, he, he caught some people, that's how they normally do. They will call people around you to break you, you know, mentally and psychologically. Et Tibi Joshua a appelé des gens, a fait que ces gens-là puissent venir juste euh, lui dire des choses pour la mélanger et puis psychologiquement. Yes, so people were saying, ah, ah, where is your mom on this side? This, that your mom that is a witch. 
Et ces gens ont commencé à lui dire, non, pourquoi est-ce que je cherche ta, ta maman? Ta maman, là, c'est une sorcière. Say thank you, I need to see her. Et elle a dit, d'accord, merci beaucoup, mais je veux la voir. My witch. I need to see my witch. Je veux voir ma sorcière. I don't know what enter me. I just say, I need to see my witch. So he, he now asked me, why tomorrow, when everybody will be busy at work? I said, because of so-so that I've mentioned. So he now said, okay, we talk from 12 midnight to 3 a.m. He now said, okay, I should get prepared that we should go to the mountain. If it were before, I would be happy to go. But I just don't want to. You know, because I've seen a lot of things, you know, I didn't even know the in-depth at that time, as I know now. So, but I know things are not, you know, are not in shape. So, I, then I just say, I'm not going. I went to bed. So, by six, I've already, while people were dressing for service, me, I was dressing to go out. So, the moment I dressed, I came down. I saw him by the stairs. So, he was coming back from the mountain because... At night before uh, service, he normally go alone there. So I saw him coming. So I greeted him. Either he answered, he didn't answer. My mind was made up. I need to. So, but because disciples don't go out alone, immediately I was crossing the road. The security stopped me. But I fought them. I said, no, no, no. I quickly climbed on one Okada. And the Okada took me. So I was... In the, uh, you know, on the streets, I left there around after six. It was around 10. Mr. Ojoloye called me. I said, I, I learned you are no longer in the quarters. Where are you? I said, I'm going to Ibadan, but I don't know where I am. So the man said, where are you now? So I asked somebody, where is this place? They said, Obalende. So I ah, all the way from Mekotun. He said, okay, where are you going? I said, I'm going to Ibadan. So he said, okay, just follow my direction. Take a uh, bus to either Yaba or Jualegba. So I waited. When I got to Jualegba, I asked people, where are they going to Ibadan? Under the bridge at that time. So I enter, and by the time, I, so, something wants to reoccur that day. I will have lost it. But thank God for that call of that man. So when I got to Ibadan, I went to a church, and true, true, the way I saw her in that split second, her husband died, you know, things has gone wrong, you know, blah, blah, blah. They have moved from their house, you know. So, you know, they called her out of the church, and she was just crying. I said, Mama, it's okay. Don't embarrass me. Can we go home? She took me to a new place. So when we got there, I knelt down, and I begged her. I prostrated. I said, I'm so sorry. Et finalement, après les obstacles, elle, elle a retrouvé sa maman. Sa maman tellement en joie, elle pleurait et tout ça. Elle a commencé à demander pardon à sa maman et tout ça. That I was, I was pushed to, you know, to, to say what I said. Et elle a commencé à dire à sa maman, vraiment, si tu étais d'être une sorcière, c'est parce que j'ai été poussé à le faire. So she said, no problem, Yana, you are back, no problem, no problem. Et sa maman lui dit, oh, ok, il n'y a pas de souci, maintenant tu es de retour, il n'y a pas de problème. problème. So the money I had on me, I gave her. So I said, mama, I have concern, and I need to leave that place. Ah, mama said, ah, the time we want you to leave, you know, you have spent all your youth in that place. So I said, I still want to leave. She said, what happened? I said no. I was not ready to, you know, start explaining. Et elle a commencé à dire à sa maman que elle veut quitter les villes de Tibéchoua. Et sa maman dit mais ah quel est le problème avec là-bas? Elle dit vraiment je ne veux pas commencer à t'expliquer ça. I just said I want to. What my mom, mother did, he gave me a phone number of a pastor. Et sa maman lui a donné le numéro de son pasteur. He said because in their church they don't do things on their own. They ask cancel from the spirit of god i said okay i took the number and i went back so when i got to the synagogue that day they wanted to harass me the security wanted to harass me that i didn't get past before i enter so me too i was ready i said okay come you know i had one five hundred thousand somewhere <laughs> so i said please come let me go in and take my bag you know blah 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 so the why we were dragging that Olamide came, Olamide Big came and said, 
uh, T.B. Joshua was calling me. So we went back to the mountain. So when we got there, I was alone with him in the room. He said, he asked me not to go somewhere, and I went. I said, because of the way I saw her. So she, he now asked me, what happened in Ibadan? Because I've known him. You understand? I started take, you know, taking his word with a pinch of salt. I knew he wanted to teleguide me. So I told him. I said, my mother said she doesn't want to see me. Mm. So that gave him peace of mind. He asked Olamide, take her back to the, the uh, synagogue. You know, I don't want to say church because that, that place is not church. Take her back and tell the leaders that no problem. So I, was, I went back. I went back to the room, you know. No, I continue my... But because the number I had was with me. And the phone, I bought a phone sometime when I was in exclusive. I hid it because at that time, disciples were not allowed to own phone. So I had it on me. So what I did was that in the, the second day, and now I was just, you know, strolling around, around the synagogue area. I put the phone in my pocket and put earpiece. So they thought maybe I was just listening to message, you know, because you have to listen to his message over and over again. But I was communicating with that pastor. I've already died the number. So I was talking to him. I said, oh, good morning, sir, you know. So he greeted me. He said, how are you? I said, I'm fine. I said, uh, sir, I would like to um, talk to you. I want to seek counsel on the, the, the move I want to take. So he said, ah, please, can we pray? So we prayed. Et là, oui, c'est le pasteur là-bas, parlant par lui. Et il doit dire, est-ce qu'on peut commencer à prier? So, the moment we finish praying, the man asked me one question. Et elle a fini, au moment où les deux ont fini de prier, le monsieur lui a posé une question. Where are you? Where are you? C'est-à-dire, où es-tu? Because I didn't want to mention synagogue. Because I know how people outside, some people outside feel about the place. So, you know, I said, it shouldn't worry that, you know, I just want to take a decision. He said, oh, he's sorry. That why he asked me where I was, was that while we were praying, he saw that my two hands and legs were in chain. Oh, he said that he asked this question to know, but where do you come from? It's because... Que... Pendant que les deux étaient en train de prier, il a vu que ses deux, ses deux pieds et ses deux mains, même son cou, étaient enchaînés. And my neck and waist, there was a chain around my waist. Il y avait des chaînes partout sur elle. That scared me. Et elle a eu peur. I said, I'm in the synagogue, sir. Et elle a dit ouvertement, nous, je suis du synagogue, ici, de l'église, tu es le choix. So the man said, ah, ah, quietly, the man said, what are you doing there? Le monsieur a dit, le président a dit, ah mais qu qu'est-ce qu que tu fais là-bas? I said, it's a long story, I can't tell you now. Elle dit que c'est une longue histoire, je ne peux pas te raconter cela maintenant. So the man, the, I, then I told the man, I said, that is why I'm calling you. I like to leave this place. Elle dit, c'est la raison pour laquelle je t'ai appelé, je vais quitter cet endroit. The man said, ah, you can't leave, oh. Et le monsieur a dit que, ah, tu ne peux pas quitter, oh. I said, why? You know? Elle a dit, mais pourquoi? I got upset because you know we are. I'm trying to leave and you still want to. He said you cannot. Leave. I said why? He said ah, if God open your eyes to see some being that I'm seeing now, if you pass through them, hey, all your names, all the names of the people that are living there. They are already with them that they are monitoring them. You are under watch. Ha. I said, which? Hein? Huh? Elle dit que les gens qui quittent là-bas, <laughs> vraiment, si elle dit que, il dit que, il dit que si Dieu t'ouvre les yeux pour voir ce que je suis en train de voir par rapport à là-bas et les gens qui sont là-bas, vraiment, tu, tu, ça, ça va te dépasser. Le truc, c'est que toutes les personnes qui sont à la base, c'est un équipe de je crois. Toutes ces personnes-là sont dans de l'eau. Which watch? He said, you, you are under their radar. I look around. I said, where is the radar? I know there is CCTV, 
but you know the, the, what is saying is like spiritual thing so i said well uh, me i need to go I said, I said as you are talking now i'm walking out he said if you go you will die Et il a dit que, ah, si tu vas, tu vas i calm down because as he said that i remember what happened seven years back Et quand il a dit ça, elle a dit que tranquille parce que c'est celui de ce qui s'est passé il y a sept ans en arrière. So I now said, what should I do? Et il a dit, mais qu'est-ce que devrais-je faire? I don't want to die. Parce que je ne veux pas mourir. And mm. I know where I am is not of God. Parce que je sais que là où, où je suis là-bas, ce n'est pas du Dieu, ce n'est pas une église de Dieu. I want to go to heaven. Moi, je vais aller au paradis. So the man said, we will seek counsel from God, but you have to calm down. Anytime you have service in that place, anytime there is congregational service, you must call me. Because before, these are the man's word though, before the service, there is a sacrifice they perform. So everybody is under a web. So we need to pray to remove that thing from you. Il dit, il dit que nous allons que si on attend la réponse de Dieu et on verra ce qu'on va faire. Parce que si je suis avant que vous allez prier ou faire le, le service, ce qui se fait, c'est qu'il fait, c'est qu'il fait des, des grands sacrifices. Vous voyez, il fait des grands sacrifices, des rituels. Donc, ça a des effets sur vous. Nous allons commencer d'abord par enlever les effets de tous ces rituels là sur vous. Tu vois, non? This is God of prayer. So we start praying. Et ils ont commencé à prier. We start praying. So some day the man will ask me, do you people usually eat together? Et un jour, ce homme lui a posé la question ça mais est-ce que vous vous mangez souvent là-bas ensemble? He said yes. Elle a dit oui. He said because he saw that they were give they they give they normally give you something in form of food, but it's not food. Oh. Ah. Il dit si si ça se il dit que si ça se passe ici si, c'est parce que ce que vous donne la moitié là c'est pas de la nourriture ordinaire ça ressemble à de la nourriture mais il y a quelque chose derrière every two two weeks they kill a uh, ram in the synagogue and they they give us so non il a dit que souvent Là bas les gens tuent des animaux à un moment donné et on les donne. He said I should stop eating. So. Et il a dit que tu devrais arrêter de manger ça. So anytime I go to the meeting where they want to share it, is either I collect mine, I flush it, or I give it to a long throat person. I just dash them out. People always want it. You can even collect food that will last you three days. So, then I stop walking. I will always stay in the room. Ask. Where's Bisola? She's in the room. What happened? She's complaining of headaches because, you know, I'm becoming irritated with, you know, staying behind. He will come into the room if he's truly a prophet. He's supposed to know that I was not sick. He'll come into the room to lay hands on me. So, me too, I would just say, okay, okay. They say, oh, okay, take her to the shower, let her shower. Et elle est arrivée là-bas, elle fait semblant d'être malade. Et lui, il est arrivé là-bas. Il... <rire> lui, si elle dit, lui, si il était vraiment un prophète, il devait vraiment savoir qu'elle n'était pas malade, elle fait semblant. Et il s'est mis à peu près. So, I was just, you know, doing that. Do you know that we prayed for three months? Then I asked the man. Et elle faisait tout comme ça, comme si elle était, elle faisait la malade, quoi. Pendant trois mois. One day. I said, which portion of the Bible should I be reading? The man said, don't bother to read Bible. Because where you are, heaven is not open. Hmm? Et le monsieur dit, oh, tu n'as pas même, tu n'as pas même besoin de lire la Bible. Parce que là où tu es là, le paradis, la porte du paradis n'est pas ouverte. You know, sometimes if the man just talk. You know some profound words. I will. I look up. I say, "Heaven is not open." Everybody. Mm. 
Euh, vous voulez la suite, mais ça s'arrête là pour le moment. Dès que tu la suite, je vais vous montrer c'est là. Oh, qu'est-ce que nous devons retenir en cours Qu'est-ce que nous devons retenir en cours elle, elle dit qu'elle était là-bas depuis plus de 20 ans. Et ses problèmes ont commencé lorsqu'elle avait 7 ans. Elle a vu des choses qu'elle nous a tout raconté ici. Elle dit que Tibi Choua, spirituellement parlant, était un homme habillé en noir et adorait la sirène. Il lui demandait de pouvoir. Et toutes les personnes qui étaient là-bas étaient vraiment endoctrinées. On leur mettait des choses dans la, dans la tête. Et on leur faisait croire que Tibi Choua, c'était Dieu. Et que si vous faites du mal à Tibi Choua, c'est comme si vous avez fait du mal à Dieu. Et que vous, et vous devez vous répentir. Au moment où elle avait décidé de quitter là-bas, de sortir de cette église, elle a fini par découvrir des choses terribles. Et parmi ces choses, c'est qu'elle était enchaînée. Enchaînée. Hein? 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 Comme quoi, toute église n'est pas église de Dieu. Ce qu'elle a donné de nous dire, on ne peut pas contester cela parce qu'elle elle, elle vient de là-bas. Elle a fait plus de 20 ans là-bas. Pour en sortir, mais c'était tout un problème. Mais aujourd'hui, elle a écrit un livre pour raconter tout ça. Je vais chercher à voir ce livre et découvrir ce qu'il y a à l'intérieur. Parce que là, là, la fête devient grave. Je vous donne rendez-vous prochaine vidéo. Soyez prêts. Si vous n'êtes pas abonné, abonnez-vous. Activez la cloche et laissez beaucoup de j'aime pour nous montrer que vous êtes prêts pour la suite. C'est parti.